really strong. So my toes are going to go to the knot of her belt. I'm going to bring the ankle. Her shin is going to connect to my hamstring. I'm going to close my knee like this. So I'm going to be twisting her knee a little bit. So I'll just release it. Yeah, so then it's not getting there. Next, I'm going to reach the belt like this. So I'm going to let go of the ankle, keeping the inside position. If, let's see, while I'm going for this, she circles her leg. I have to circle back. Or if she circles her leg, well, I'm going to block it. Look, if, I, if she circles and I keep my knee open, she'll be able to circle. But if she tries to circle, look, and I close my knee, like I'm able to block. If she tries to circle under, yeah, I'll try to stretch my leg like this. So I need to be in the inside position. Now I grab the belt, then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to use my elbow to close the knee, and then I'm going to use this knee to like go over the, go over the knee like that. Okay. Once I'm here, I'm going to pose my foot, and then I'm going to hip escape over this foot like this. So I pose my elbow, so I have the ankle, elbow on the mat. I pose this foot on the mat, and I go to the other side of this foot. Okay. Once I'm on the other side of this foot, look, this foot, the one I pose on the mat, I'm going to put the hook like this. Okay, I'm not going to put the hook and close my knee because the, the, the hook is going to slide. I'm going to put my hook, open my knee, I'm going to frame my elbow on the inside of the, knee, of the knee there. Okay, next. Now I can take this foot out. I don't need this hook anymore. So I'm going to pose it on the mat. I'm going to put my head inside. I'm going to pull with this belt. I'm going to try to bring this knee on the mat there on that side like this. Okay, next I'm going to grab the second butterfly hook. Okay, I'll grab the ball. So this already in a cab leg. Same position. So keep that knee on the mat, raise my hip, oppose my knee. She doesn't react, I'll reach for the collar and then bring myself up like this. But probably the first or second or even three times that she's gonna react. So I gotta stretch my arms, switch to the other side, and then here I'll try to use the momentum to come up instead. Okay. So we're starting like this, I walk with the guard. I'm going to get inside position, hook my toes, grab the ankles, lift your heels off the mat. So when I lift, I need to lift your heels off the mat. Why? Because I need to put the weight on her, the weight on her here. If she's, if her feet are like this, she has weight. Then look, it's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard. So I'm going to do this. Close the ankles, hook my toes, and open the shape. Oh, circle this one. Put the dead ring bumbo, but I'm going to close the knee. I'm going to let this one go and then I'm going to reach for the belt. If she's working there, look, I'm going to block it. Or if she gets in, I'll have to also pump her. Now I'm going to use my knee, my elbow here. Look, I'm going to close her knee. You see I'm twisting her knee? I'm going to use my elbow to twist her knee. I'm going to close her up my arm. Here. Foot on the mat, other side of this foot. Put the butterfly hook. And then once I get this, now I'm going to shoot my head near her hip. Then this foot is going to bring that knee in the mat over there like this. See that? Reach. I'm going to try to come up. She's probably going to react. I'm going to switch the other side like this. Okay. One more time. Or it's already one. One more time. One last one. So double foot to guard. Like this. Keep the inside position. Here. Try to practice putting a strong hook so my toes are on the, uh, on the knot of the belt. Reach for the belt. Close the elbow. Post my elbow back here. Look, post. I'm using my elbow and my foot to over. Put the butterfly hook. Knees to chest. Close here. Look, that one's always bringing that knee on the mat. Put the butterfly hook. Reach. Doesn't react. I can come up here. Oh, she's reacting. And I'm going to stretch my arm. Come up to the other side. There, I can use the momentum to come. So the drill we're doing a while is crucial for this kind of move. But once you can get the drill, the, this one, uh, it's easy because you can, based on the reaction, you can always come up. Okay? When I'm like this, look, I, I need to lift the heels because if her heels go in the mat, she can put her head forward. And then she'll probably be like fighting me here. But if I go here and then I lift her hands, look, her hands are going to go in the, it's going to go behind. Like if I even lift, like I can even bring, bring her back, back on the mat. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to do this, control her hips. Next, I need to get the angle on the knee. So I'm going to, when I take out the Deleriva, you see how I'm not grabbing the pants? I'm grabbing like this. I have like a C grip on the ankle. I do this. So there, look at that. You see how, I'll go around and I'll let you feel how I lock the knee here. So I'm like locking the knee there. Here, I can already lock the knee like this. See how when I 
you guys see her knee? It's like being twisted like this. This is the most important part of the Della Riva. Because, okay, before it's enough to frame. So let's say I'm playing Akhet Kedan. So let's say I'm playing guard. As long as I'm like this, you're having already a hard, a hard time to pass because I'm already putting up boards. People are really good at like, they already know how to like disarm the guard. They go back and they start to do this. So for me, instead of just putting frames now, to be able to control the guard, I need to control the weight. It's either I'm putting the weight this way, or, go, go, or I'm putting the, the weight this way, or I'm putting the weight over, or I'm putting, the, I'm putting her on the like this. You see how there's four directions. Actually, there's like infinite directions. But I'm able to do that now because I'm twisting her knee. So this is the drill that I use to practice my Dolariva. Because, let's see, I'm practicing here and then at least I do heels on the mat. It's hard for me to, if I'm not used to like, adjusting my Dolariva hook, you're going to have a hard time. But this is what we're going to do later. If I do this, if I do this, her leg becomes light. It's like the perfect time to like twist it and do this. Because this kind of control is what I'm going to want to do eventually, even here. Look, I'm, I can't do my Del Riva like this anymore. Before, this okay. Now I need to do this. I need to like con constantly be twisting the knee like that. You see, I'm, I'm like able to turn her by twisting her knee. This is how I practice it. So I do this. Look, I'm going to do that. Oh, Della Riva. Twist, I'm trying to twist her knee inwards because this is my path to the back, right? So I'm trying to twist her knee like this. Because look, let's say that's my opponent. If she's twisting my knee this way, you see how I'm like kind of giving the back. So that's the idea of the, the, the Della Riva. Here, like this. I'll do it again. So bring. Look, I'm going to use my, my knees and this pressure and my elbow to twist her knee that way. Now, when I post my foot on the mat, look, I go to the other side, look, it's such a big hole because her knee's twisted this way. If I don't do that, and her knee's like open this way, look, see, see. If her knee's open this way, now when I go for the, the baby bowl of this way, look, there's no place for me to put my hook. So you have to, this is the most important part, actually. I have to do this. You see that? I'm adjusting to torque to me. Then now, when I, if they're good, they're going to be trapping me with the toes there. So I have to be able to do this. Like I'm going to go to the other side, put the hook. Now knees to my chest. And I can start practicing the, the crab right control. Okay? So it's just really drill so far. Okay? So try to practice some more. And then if you have any questions, Rachel, I'll try to help. I'll try to let everyone feel how I do the other you. Count three. One, two, three. Here you have to switch to the other side. And then do drill. what we drill a lot. And then, the next one, for double foot to guard. Adjusting the deriva, grabbing the belt, locking the knee. Try to adjust here. You can spend a lot of time here working on what the, what the hands do, what the knees do, to be able to put the maximum pressure on the knee. And then foot, scoot over. Foot, look, here now I can come up, but she's probably going to react. So I have to switch to the other side. Here. The next is going to be, she's going to be standing. I'm going to put, so I'm going to scoot, I'm going to adjust the deriva, I'm going to get the collar pants. She's going to break this grip. I'm going to open the base. You see how like my heel is going to like open her knee and then make her step that way. Same time, I'm going to sit up on my elbow and then reach for the belt. Okay, once I reach for the belt, oh, the same leg work and the same positioning we're doing a while ago. Look, I'm going to look for it here. You see that? So my deriva hook is going to be turning her knee like this. Hook, turn. So I close my knee. My, this, my, the hand on my boss is going to be doing this. I'm going to be bringing in. I'm going to be closing my elbow with a seal like this. This is why a while ago, even though it's not really necessary, I was suggesting to practice because now it's really useful here. Using my elbow to like put the pressure on the knee. It's like, to make it really easy to get the back for me. And then this knee, I'm always like trying to go over the knee. Why? Because... Look, if I don't go over the knee, and if they're good, they're going to be like trying to break this grip. They're going to no, reach And then they're going to be like trying to do like this stuff. I mean, it's okay. 
should know how to defend, but look at this. If I have if I have this kind of angle, look, how can she do a knee slice? Because look, I'm putting my butterfly hook there for leverage and I'm closing my knee like this. You know. For her to do a knee slide, she can do a knee slide. For her to knee slide, look, her knee has to be able to go this way. If I'm doing this kind of a Del Riva where I lock it from all angles, I'm totally covering the knee. There's no, de there's no knee slide at all. Look, I can even put my elbow outside and look, I'll use my elbow to, to cover her knee more, uh, to use my knee more to cover her knee. This is blasting her knee already. Okay, but what I like about this is look, now when I start to stretch and pull my leg, I'm starting to control her weight. You see how I'm making her step and then I'm making her turn just by doing the Del Riva. This is what I mean by now framing is not enough. You need to be able to move their weight. If you're not able to move their weight, it's going to be difficult to, to maintain your guard. Because it's not base. It's not base mga tao. Eh. They don't really like, do big movements anymore to pass. The passing now is more like this. If you notice, everyone's doing this. They're so good at base here. If, you, if you're not able to move their head, you're not, never going to slow them down. And they're just going to keep coming and coming until eventually you're going to turtle or whatever. Or they're going to like, get like a good half guard position. What you need to do, do, do now is this. Look, grab the, grab the sleeve, put, put the base. Look, when I try to pass, look, she's going to, she's like moving my weight totally. This is what you need to do now. Because if she stops, people now, they're just going to be like stripping your guard. Almost automatic. It's so fast. The way that they are, if you, if you stop moving and moving their weight, they're just going to be like, pack, pack, and then they're already past your guard. So now, I recommend you always have to make them do this. Move their feet, bring their head outside their knees, put them on their hip. So your De La Riva, it's not really enough anymore to just kind of be like this. Okay, I have to be like this. I have to be like, see? I have to be like non-stop. Kind of like attacking her. Or else, she's just going to base and then she's going to start blitzing me. That's the reason why we have to do the revoke like this. So I'm going to put the del revoke. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Her leg is a little bit stretched. And you see how, you know how it's hard to put the del revoke and the leg is stretched? I'm going to use my calf to bend the leg. So I'm going to stretch. I'm going to use my calf to bend, my, to bend her leg like this. Look, huh? I'm going to jerk it. And I'm going to put the del revoke like that. Okay, next I'm going to shrimp. Get, my, get the belt close. Put the butterfly and then start torquing the knee here. Oh, when I'm ready. I, instead of butterflying, I'm going to switch two toes on the belt, stretch the leg. Look, I'm bringing her leg to me by controlling her belt. When the, when the leg is near enough, I'm going to let go of this one, I'm going to underhook here. One. Next, I'm going to close my knee. The same way we were doing a while ago. Two. I'm making space for this one. Three. Middle. Double. Belt. Knees to chest. Once her knee, uh, once her hips hits my chest, I'm going to stretch. And then this is the position again that we're doing a while ago. Okay, I'm gonna take her back or I'm gonna smash her. Okay, again. So I'm gonna put the Del Riva. If it's a little bit stretched, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use my calf to bend the leg. When the leg is bent, the Riva stretch. I'm gonna snap the hook, stretch, get the collar, and I start to break the hook. She's probably gonna break this. I'm gonna get the belt. Oh, better. Grab the belt, elbow to the knee. Adjust my hip nice and then start, look, sandwiching her knee with my knees. Look, I'm making her turn the legs close. Under hook, close the knee, make space for that, knees to chest. I'm going to pick the other side this time. Oh, she didn't react. Oh, she's going to come up. Okay. One more time or you guys are ready to try. So you're going to switch to the belt grip when they break this one. And then you start to control the weight. Then start to... Uh, Oh, if they, oh, if this happens, sorry, I'm going to add one last. If, let's say, I'm doing this, and then my partner's base is just okay. So I have this one. Remember, this is the focus here. I need to blast the knee. Because this was, oh, look, if, if she falls here, oh, then just do the crab bread. The one, just go straight to the crab bread. But this time, she's like basing. Grab the ankle, start doing the leg work. It's the same leg work as the crab bread. Okay? Cancer, one, two, three. Same leg, man. Does anyone have any questions? The concept of the knee is that it's basically you controlling this leg through the knee. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. So that's parang, parang tag team si 
Yeah. Yeah. I think the way I'm presenting it, that's like the ideal situation. Of course, if you're gonna roll against someone like let's say Hafa Mendes or Andy Morisaki, you're not gonna be able to do it. But you have to try to do it. You have to try to twist their knee or else it's too easy. It's too easy for them. They're just gonna So if I wanna make her yeah, if I wanna make her go there, stand up, look, I wanna make her step. I wanna make her step, then come near here. Oh. Stand back up. She's always just gonna stand back up and then let me practice again. Um, bring her to her hands, bring her to both hands, bring her to her knee, bring her to one hand, bring her to both hands, bring her to her hip. I'll bring her to her hip again. Go up. I'll bring her this way. So I'm just using the belt and the derivo hook. And then after like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, switch rolls. Okay? Count three. I'll set up the timer, find your partner. But try to focus a lot on the off balance so you're not using so much energy to finish the to finish the sweeps and finish the submissions. Switch. So this one is the other person again, same. You can off balance. But when you see that you can get points, you can also get points. If you see that you have a chance for a submission, you can also like launch a triangle, launch an arm lock. <laughs> 